joined this morning by uh, Kathy and Shannon Allen. They are with the Idaho State uh, Historical Museum, friends of the Idaho State Historical Museum, correct? Yes. Okay, and a big event coming up this weekend on Sunday, the fourth annual What's It Worth event. And you do see some items in front of us. We'll talk more about those in just a second. But uh, Kathy, I'll start with you. Let's uh, let's talk about the event. What should people be uh, looking to bring in? We're, we're talking about apprising uh, items here, right? Right, so we have a, a lot of evaluators for Dolls, clocks, watches, um, books, hunting and fishing, stamps, coins, and then a general category where they um, bring in a lot of different things like small furniture and jewelry and china. So, so pretty much as long as they can get it in the door, it's, it's, it's right. everything goes. And right. uh, Shannon, you were telling me just before we came on that stamps are now added into this, and I'm sure there's tons of stamp collectors uh, around the Treasure Valley. Um, this is just a one-day event, correct? It is. So it's just going to be on Sunday. Okay. It's uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And it's, it's a fun event. I mean, you get to come. You get to be in the museum. You get to have your items evaluated. Um, we serve coffee right. and little pastries and things. And it's just it's a different way to see the museum. And it's normally closed on Sunday, so right. it's kind of a bonus. And yeah, and you can also check out the rest of the museum while you're there, correct? And there's, yeah. there's some pretty big things going on down there right now. Yeah, there's a great exhibit right now, the Plain Air Art Exhibit. Um, I went to the opening of that, and it's all these neat watercolors. And um, they're the, gr the group that started um, BAM. And so you get to enjoy that. And it's, it's a lot of fun. And you get to come in and bring these random things and wonder, should I keep it? Or is it time to get clean out my closets? Yeah, and you guys have had a pretty good turnout, I would, I would imagine, the last three years and coming up to this year. So a um, few items here on the table. I see, a, let's see, a couple books, a few old magazines. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, so uh, other than stamps, I, I wouldn't really know what, what else people <laughs> necessarily collect. I always collected baseball cards. Are those okay at an event like this? I am not sure okay. baseball cards are. Because that's, that's the only yeah. <laughs> We don't have any yet. Know if so. I, I was asking for my own personal reasons just because it's the only thing I've ever collected. I'm in my 20s, so I don't have old books or anything. I'm not just sure now. they're worth anything yeah. anymore. <laughs> Sad. All right. Well, I'll just, that's right. They're all locked away in a safe. Either way, so if they are worth anything, hopefully um, I'll find out someday. Uh, where can people go out to find uh, more about this event? Uh, we have a website. It's uh, www.friendsidahohistory.com. Okay. Um, we're also on Facebook. Um, you can also log on to the museum website, and they have um, information about our event. Um, it is a $5 entry fee. Right. Yep, and then um, $10 per item. No limit this year. Okay, no limit at all. Yep. Okay, so we have that information uh, on the screen there. And if you don't know where the Idaho State Historical Museum is, it's in Julia Davis Park. There's the actual address, though. It's at 610 North Julia Davis Drive. And uh, specifically for Facebook, what are they searching for if they want to find your page? Oh, I think it's just... Friends, Idaho okay. history. I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm trying to stick with that theme, <laughs> but I, I set too many up. So. Okay. <laughs> and uh, anything else you want to tell us about the event on, on Sunday, or uh, things coming up uh, in the near future for you guys? Um, well, the event is going to fund the um, Essential Idaho exhibit, right. which is about the sesquicentennial of um, Idaho as a territory. And you guys have also so, um, you guys are also um, kind of teamed up with uh, the penitentiary now, correct? Right, we, and we'll fund um, events out there too. Okay, so certainly a great so, community event overall. Yes. Uh, of course, a lot of fun as well. And this is the fourth consecutive year, so I'm sure it'll be going for many more years after that. Thank you guys so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you.